don't ask me for an example. I already gave you one. It's called example. So when you go looking... Here I am, walking to the box over there. No short. Right, well. Here I am, walking to the box over there. North Shore District Court. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, I have a um, couple of infringements that have been sorted out by or gone through to a hearing. Yep. Um, I want to file a counterclaim. What forms do I need to you do can't that? file a counterclaim for a hearing. You either plead, if you're wanting to have a defended hearing, you need to put it in writing that you wish to have this the defence statement sort of thing. Yeah, but you come to court and have the defendant hearing where the police officer or whoever comes and stuff like that. Yeah, he's, he's been marked as one of the witnesses because I requested all relevant documents from yep. them and the officer in charge has sent me all of that stuff. Yep. Um, he yep. hasn't answered any of my questions that I've asked him. When so, are you doing court on it? Sorry? When are you doing court? 17th of March. What was this, one of the CRNs? CRN, yeah, and I noticed when I was, because I was, when I was looking on the ministry, because there's a, some exhibits that I need to add to it as well, I mean, can you I... You need to print them off. Uh, what, well, it's a video. Oh, then you play that at your defended hearing. Okay. So it's down for a first appearance on the 17th of March, okay? Sure. If you're wanting to have it set down for what we call a JP judge alone trial, where the JP's here, witnesses and, you it know. It says so trial by judge. Well, no, it's not a judge, it's JP's, because it's an infringement, so it's not a judge. Okay. Um, you put it in writing, quote those two CRM numbers, file it here at the court. Your appearance won't be required then on the 17th of March, and you'll be notified of the new hearing date where the defended hearing will proceed. Okay. Otherwise, you do have the option of coming on the 17th of March, yeah. appearing before the JPs, and it will then be removed off to the... So are they just JPs? Yep. Are they acting under their oath while they're standing there, or is it just an administrative hearing? No, they're JPs. Well, by tomorrow. So, so the hearing itself, is it to do with like civil all law, contract no, law, or is it, all, or is it administrative all, hearings? It's all my... I just leave that there for you, just to give to someone. Where um, the offences are punishable by a fine, fine only. That's why the JPs okay. deal with it. Yep. See, my, my issue is that he's, he issue, issued this ticket, he said he's handed it to me and all that sort of jazz, mm -hmm. but he didn't. Um, he put it under my wiper blade, I took it out from my wiper blade, put it under his wiper blade, uh, and then he took off and ran over me foot, so I mean, who's to, the who's the one that's at fault, you, you know? You need to bring, the, that's where the defendant hearing for the JPs to determine. But, but my understanding is being the defendant is just the punching bag for the plaintiff, the plaintiff's the one that holds all the power, that's and I want civil. to become the plaintiff. Yeah, but you can't, that's civil jurisdiction, not right. criminal. Well, well this isn't this isn't criminal either, though. So the infringement comes under the police, which comes under the owl. Yeah, I, I don't under, I don't understand because I said to him, what I asked I him at the time. What I best advise you to do is get in contact with us, get some private legal advice on it. Well, I've spoken to a defence attorney over yep. in, in America about it, and she said basically he's abused police power, he's parked his you car on my foot, and I need to go and file a counterclaim. So you can't file a counterclaim. That's civil jurisdiction. So, so this is police. This is um, the, it's not civil jurisdiction, they are completely different jurisdictions. So what jurisdiction does this court hold? We're under criminal, so this is a criminal. So what criminal, of, like, so what's the crime? Fines, um, assault, you know, that's our jurisdiction. For a crime, doesn't it need to have like harm, loss or injury? No. Anyway, what I best advise you to do well, is come on the 17th of March, yeah. see a duty lawyer who will deal with the matter in court on your behalf if you would like, yeah. and they can give you legal advice. And I don't free. think that they'd be representing myself or, the, or my person correctly. I mean, well, I'm just a yeah. man. I said that to the guy at yeah. the time. Well, no joinder was all created. All I can advise you to do is come on the 17th mm. of March, speak to a duty lawyer. They can give you free legal advice. So what redress would I have if I don't agree with the decision of the Justice of the Peace? Then if you, if once it's gone to a defended hearing, if you're wanting it to go to a defended so hearing... If I, say, show up pro se, for instance. Well, when you first... when on the 17th of March, it's best that the duty lawyer goes through everything with you, your options, what you can do, and mm -hmm. so forth. And from that, you can either deal with it on your behalf, mm -hmm. and it go off or whatever, or it gets dealt with on the day, but the, ju the duty lawyers can give you that free legal advice on the day. Mm -hmm. And they deal with all police matters. Yeah, okay? so they'd be able to like tell me, like when when Neil, the, the man 
who was acting as the cop there, said to me at the day, he said, it's an offence to not produce your driver's licence. And I said to him, what's an offence? He couldn't explain that to well, me. So, yeah, I judicial, mean, it's not a wrong, is it? I don't know. I can't give you legal advice. All I can advise So you're not legally you, trained? I cannot. I'm not a lawyer. So you're not legally trained? No, so that's okay. what I'm saying. I can't physically give you legal advice. Okay. All I can advise you to do is come on the 17th of March, sure. speak to a duty lawyer, they can go through all your legal yeah. rights with you, and you can decide from there yeah, what you're going to do. But that's the whole thing. It's got nothing really to do with my legal rights. I was just exercising my natural rights to go know, from point A to point B. I wasn't said. operating yeah. under the licence. Just deal with the duty lawyer here on the day, mm. and as I say, if you don't, whatever on that day, yeah. you, it will get called in court, and you, they can you can they can give you the advice, and you can sure. do with the advice whatever you see fit. Mm. Okay. Okay. So just come on the 17th of March. Okay. okay. What was your name? Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. You're welcome. You have an awesome day. Thank you. See ya. Bye. I might as well go in and ask her about filing a private claim or private prosecution. Hey. Again. Yeah, yeah. Just, um, but she said that I really have no redress in regards to the, the hearing in, in this regard because it's a criminal matter and whatnot. Um, I'm wondering then, how do I go about filing a brand new outstanding claim against the man that did me wrong? Um, I guess you would need to talk to a lawyer about it. So there's no forms I can fill out from from here to file a claim. You, I, th I think I heard her saying you're coming back on the 17th. Yeah, that's to do with the infringement, but I'm talking about the fact that he ran over my toe, caused me harm and injury and distress. Um, I've filed an IPCA complaint, which is currently being investigated. Okay. So I want to go against prosecution against the man that did me wrong. So right. what claims, what so claim forms do I need? Sure, I'll be the plaintiff that way. Right. Sure. I'm not sure. I'm just going okay. Thank you. How are you? Nadine. Nadine. Um, basically, the, the man ran over my foot, and um, I want to seek private prosecution against him. He did me wrong, he did me harm, injury. So, what do I do about lodging a claim against him? I want to seek redress because, to me, it's a criminal offence. It's vehicular assault, it's abuse of police powers, it's unlawful detention, unlawful arrest because I couldn't move while he was parked on me. So, it's all caught on videotape. So. Yeah, sort of a Graham McCready type thing, you know, private prosecution, nothing to do with the police. Yeah, 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 no, fair enough. I actually don't do all that, so be with me too enough. Thank you. And like it's urgent, and I think we might be looking at that. 
Oh, I, I only spoke to her on the phone. Oh, and and, and, and uh, I said, well, look, I'm coming in the morning. She says, JT does all the passport things. And I said, I'll be in in the morning. So I've looked and looked for her all morning, and the penny finally dropped. <laughs> uh, so who can do it? Who, who will? Okay, so the paperwork that would normally be filed by a lawyer that you can file. Yeah, as you can. Yeah, right. Right. it is done online, but I'm at the stage I can't locate it. But I know one of the lawyers that's acting at the moment, she's yeah. just having a matter of being called a courtroom one. So when she comes out of us, to come to the office. So if you're happy to hold on, she's obviously just busy at the moment. No, I, I don't know how. I know she's it's just dealing with court. some matters. Mm. So that's fine. If you're happy to wait, oh, I have okay. asked you to come out. I've got a wee while. Well, I don't mind waiting. Okay, she shouldn't be too long. Thank you. It? Appreciate it. But it's not a big thing today. It's nothing. It's just a one-off. About getting documents notarised, do you guys do that here? Do you notarise documents? Um, to get them certified. Yeah, yes, yeah, all um, normal, yeah, true and correct sort of jazz. Can do that, yes. Okay, is there a fee or a charge for that? No. For that? Okay, awesome. Thank you. Yep, charging document. Yep. A summary of facts. And a s 
signed sworn statement. Signed sworn statement. Yeah. And it's a yeah. So if you just see the yeah. Yeah, that's what she said. She said there's been very little chance that a lay person could do it. So if you just see the yeah, that's right. I'll just yeah, that's what she said. She said there's been very little chance that a lay person could do it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Because I'm just going to relate it. Sweet. I'm sure. basically saying that um, it's not usually done, it's usually done through a lawyer. It's very difficult for an average Joe Bloggs man to do it, or should I say lay person, and, um, and that there's really no merit behind doing it. But to me, getting redressed for the fact that a man drove a vehicle onto my foot is merit. Holding them accountable, thinking that because he's wearing a uniform gives him the right to injure me, doesn't okay. and he recognized myself as a man there was no joint or inequity between myself or any person he said that at the time he stated he didn't know who I was and yet on the charging instrument he's saying I need to be confirmed yes I've got him on video telling me I don't even know who you are he's telling me he handed me these infringement notice and yet no he didn't he drove off with it under his wiper blade after he tried to flee from injuring me so where do I get redress for the harm that he caused me I don't care what statutory obligation he thought he was doing or what legal right he thought he had to do. It didn't supersede my natural right that I had to go from point A to point B. I wasn't acting under that licence at the time. So where does he derive his authority? He said to me at the time he, he believed he had authority over I, a man, and he's dead wrong. I wasn't acting as a person within any given society. He couldn't even define what type of person he thought I was. Body corporate, unincorporated body, corporation soul, legal person, natural person. Which one am I? Okay. I'm just a man and he's using all of these words I don't understand. He's telling me he's going to charge me with an offence. What's that? Is that wrong? Did I cause somebody harm, loss or injury? No. So what right does he have to do to cause me harm? And now I make a, I, I ring up Crime Stoppers to make sure there's no you know, limit to when I can make a claim against them. They're saying you can make a complaint. Well, I'm not going to be a whinging person within a society. I'm claiming that man did me wrong. I'm not a person asking Big Daddy to, to tell off another one of their children. You know, and, and to me, he's got no right to do what he did. He believed he had authority over me because he was wearing a costume and driving a, a painted car. What did he do? He didn't. Any, okay. do, do you get where I'm coming yeah, from there? Yeah, I, I definitely you know, understand, I, but I think he might be best to maybe pop out and talk to one of the duty lawyers, mm. and they will be able to obviously help you. And I do know, I don't know if Mark, you know, I'm not, not, not today, but uh, there's, there's some, duty lawyers out there. I mean, I know, I, I mean, I know, he, I know duty solicitors, you know, personally, like, you know, and I haven't spoken to them about it yet. But um, to me, obviously, I, I think that to myself there's a conflict of interest there because obviously any solicitor is, is a member of the Bar Association and their allegiance holds to them first and foremost, not to the client, it's to the Bar. So I, I just, I don't want to be represented in any way, I'm just present as a man in the court and I want to know who did me wrong and I want the plaintiff to appear before me and I haven't met New Zealand police personally, never shaken their hand. Okay, so I think, like I said, the best thing we'd do would be to go out and we'll talk to um, one of the duty mm. lawyers, sure. which is Samudu, but oh, she may be in court at the moment, but she is, may be is able to point perhaps in the a number I can get to ring them to say if waiting around now is there some contact for, for someone um, that she could refer? I don't know if we have, do, I don't know if there's a... Just a, a, any lawyer that you could refer me to? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So that would be the best time to actually speak to her unless yeah. you're actually going to get her assigned, sure. unless you want her to act for you. Yeah. So I think, because obviously she's on duty out here at the moment, so you can get some legal advice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know she was just in court, so she may have just come out. 
I mean, I'll right. that might be I've, even, I've even given the New Zealand Police, I've given them notice that I don't understand legalese, legal terms, legal customs of the legal society and what, and they keep telling me all these legal requirements and legal rights. I don't understand the bean of it. I just okay. understand English. I think because it's private prosecution and Samudi's dealt with these before, she might be able to point you in the right direction. Mm. So we'll just pop out here and we'll see if we can yeah. take Oh, okay. That'd be awesome. Andy, she yeah. might be able to give some Thank advice. You. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Yeah, no, I think I'm the most important. Yeah, with me, I'm just thinking, if she's still in court, obviously we can't go on and talk to her. I think she is. Go the other option. Well, it might be able to find out how we're on the court case on the 17th, what courtroom. You can find it out at the front counter just then. Obviously, they'll be able to look at I'm just going to see if you're on the court as well. Thank you very much. No, 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 I was just, I was coming off, off the cuff, um, which, which well, I was after, I was actually searching for some other papers, and they so said there's no such thing for what I wanted, so, <laughs> basically, so what happened, well tell me about it, I was driving home, um, I entered a 100k area, there were flashing lights behind me, wound down my window, waving past, sirens went on, pulled over, um, we were on a 100k really sharp, you know, double yellow bend, so we pulled over onto a side road and continued. Um, the man who I know is Neil Winterbottom, who's a constable, um, and I think when I said to him, who are you, he says constable Neil Winterbottom, so obviously he's acting as a constable. Um, said that I was, that he pulled me over for speeding, um, and he wandered, he asked me several times, not once did he require anything off me. I told him I'm more than happy to produce, and, produce and, and perform anything you order me to do. He said he wasn't going to order me to do anything. Um, he wouldn't answer any of my questions. Uh, he walked back to his car, he did his infringement notice, came back, um, my window was probably cracked about that far, looked at me, went around, stuck it under my wiper blade. Um, I got out of the car took it out from under the wiper blade, went back, walked up to his car and stuck it under his wiper blade, um, at which time he ripped up his car and tried to scare me, you know, away from the front of his vehicle, and he was reversing onto 100k road backwards, which is good and not clever, um, and there yeah, he ripped and, and rolled his car up onto my toe. Um, I told him, don't you run onto my toe, and then he ripped again, run onto my foot, I screamed at him, get the F off my, my toe, um, he got half out of the car, looked at me, says, I'm not on your, stopped in mid-sentence, realised where he was, that he was parked in my toe, got back in the car, reversed off it, and then fled, with the ticket still under the wiper blade. Um, tried to give chase, but he took So, so what are you saying? Is you want I'm saying he caused me injury, harm, and distress. So, um, you, so you want, you want to uh, prosecute him for what, dangerous driving or something?
Abuse of police powers, wrongful well, detention. That's, that's not going to that's not going to stack up. Well, what you should do is you should lay a complaint to the police complaint I authority. I've, I've yeah. made an IPCA complaint. Yes, what Senior Sergeant Bill Russell is currently investigating it. Senior Sergeant Bill Russell is also Neil's direct superior officer. Um, I find it interesting that an independent police conduct authority is sending a complaint to the police to investigate the police. Well, about that's, the police. that's how it works. Well. Either way, I'm just a man, he's done yeah. wrong, and I want to file grievance. I mean, I'm an aggrieved man, and he's done me wrong. He caused me injury, and um, I want to hold him accountable. I've asked them repetitively. I've sent letters to Mike Bush, police commissioner, yeah. asking him for a response as to... Well, well, well they're not going to respond until after the IPC is, is dealt with, uh, and, and you need to wait till that happens. Mm. Uh, and, and, and any any private prosecution, you're going to have to get a, uh, make an application to the court. I, and, and, and any any private prosecution, you're going to have to get a, uh, make an application to the court. Which is what I was coming yeah, in to find yeah, paperwork yeah, for yeah. to make a claim. Yeah, no, well, it's, 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 you don't get paperwork for it. You've got to file affidavits, etc. Mm. Uh, I can make a statement of fact. Yeah, and, and, uh, I mean, he, he's supplied two statements of facts which contravene each other yeah. as well so far. So, so what, what, what happens then is... And then the beauty is it's all caught on video. Yeah. I had the, the entire event, including with him parked on my foot, is all on film. Oh, well, that's good. And I've sent it to the... Oh, I yeah, yeah, sent it to And initially, because I had it all up on YouTube, he said, oh, I've had a look at your video and I can't see any distress. Now I've got Bill, after 10 backwards and forwards emails, saying, I can recognise this, that Neil caused me alarm in distress. Yeah. So he's flipping his story just because I gave him an unedited version of the tape. Yeah. Now the tape I supplied shows from when Neil, you know, put on the lights and started the siren. What the tape doesn't, what I didn't supply on the tape was where I had basically driven from home all the way to the shop and back, dropped off the kids, got my wife's medication yeah. and was heading home. I didn't, I cut that bit out because it's insignificant. But now Neil was saying that he pulled me over because I was initially going past him exceeding 50 plus an hour and on a school morning at 20 past 20 to 9 in the morning when there's hundreds of parents around yeah right and the beauty of it is that's caught on film too i was following another car directly in front of me doing no more than 20k an hour so he's lying okay well the statement you, of fact is also not yeah, signed or witnessed well you know I'm, I'm not going to judge who's right or wrong here oh, what, 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 what i'm telling he's you he's done me wrong yeah what, 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 what i'm going to tell you is is that you need to wait till the end of the uh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and, and, and if you don't get any satisfaction out of there, then you, you need to f make an application to file before the court for a pri private prosecution. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's a very, very high threshold to get over, but it's entirely up to you. Um, Well, is it right yeah. for him to be able to use his no, police no, car and yeah. drive onto me foot? Well, I wouldn't have thought so. No. Exactly. And, um, and that's basically it. I don't, care, I don't care what little legislative rules of society yeah. he claims I've broken or what rule. Yeah. He said I've broken the law and they said, oh, is that a rule or a law? And he goes, oh, it's a rule. Okay, so which is it? Did I break the law or did I break a rule? Yeah. Well, yeah, look, I, I mean, I'm just holding yeah, well, it. I, I, his well, I can't discuss the, the merits of the mm. case with you, Mr. Ray. You know, I'm, not, you know I'm, I'm just here to tell you what you should do is you should wait Till, till you get that result, mm. and you may be able to get some satisfaction out of that, particularly if it's all on film. Yeah, well, there's a hearing yeah. in regards to the speeding yeah. ticket here on the 17th, yeah. which is where he'll actually be the prosecuting, he's the officer in he charge. In charge yeah, yeah. So if yeah. there's an independent police conduct authority yeah. against that man, surely he shouldn't be able to be a prosecutor against me, well, or is he, is he, yeah, well, he's listed as a winner, but so is he going to get someone else to prosecute? Someone else, yeah, well, someone else will prosecute, he won't be prosecuted. Yeah, but none of them are, none of them are called New Zealand Police, and I, I haven't met this New Zealand Police character who's bringing the claim against yeah. me. You know, I, I haven't met them. Yeah, uh, well, I, I'd like, I'd like know, to blame them. Not, you, know, you know what I mean? That's what you need to do. You just wait until you get that result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much.